Hello everyone. I hope you're having a blessed and beautiful day today. I just, um, this is going to be kind of short, but I just wanted to come on and, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm struggling guys. I just, um, long for Jesus. I long for his return. I see everything that's happening and I, I, you know, get weary I get tired you know Lord why are we still here you know these things are happening the things that will happen in the tribulation and we're here and you know don't get me wrong I'm I'm not for one second saying that we are in the tribulation or that we will enter the tribulation I firmly and totally 100% believe in a pre-tribulation rapture Um, so I'm not saying that at all I'm just saying that I'm just tired and I'm weary and I I long for Jesus I long for home and it's a struggle and I've noticed that over the last mm, well it's it comes and goes in waves but I've noticed that oh in the last few days that I feel like this strong and I can't explain it it's almost like a physical thing that I just I could, every day that I wake up, I almost cry because I'm thinking, why are we here? I want to go home. I just want to go home so bad. And, you know, it's, it's to the point now where we see all these things happening. And, you know, it's like if, if much more happens, I might just literally go insane because I am just so tired and the race is, long and you know no one's God didn't say that it would be easy but you know it's I know that I'm not the only one that's dealing with this I know that there are many that are in the same position or you know and this is the time that we need to encourage each other so please encourage me (laughs) I need the encouragement so bad um You know, I do my best to come on here and encourage you guys and, you know, try to be cheerful and and let my voice, you know, sing out and just an encouragement for you. And now is the time that I need that. Um, I need all the encouragement, um, you know, uplifting up, you know, videos that you have seen that you might um, think that would be an encouragement. Um dreams that you've had even I don't mind I love looking at dreams not that I take them literal you know nothing like that but I just you know dreams that people have had encourage me and things that they they see or or you know have seen or you know I see all of this stuff that's going on I see all of these food shortages that are happening that are being done on purpose um I see the wheat um, crops, you know, are being destroyed on purpose. And we know in Revelation, it talks about the wheat harvest. And, and it's, it's funny how it's a, it, uh, mirrors us. We are considered the wheat, right? He harvests the wheat. And, um, before there is no wheat, are we going to be harvested? Um, you know, the time is running out and I know that, and I know that the, the people, just don't want to hear it anymore. They don't want to hear Jesus. They hate the mention of Jesus. They they believe that it's a cult or they believe that it's a uh, fantasy or a fairy tale, that none of this is happening. How you could deny it, I don't know. And and sadly, the people that deny what's happening right now are going to be left behind. And are they going to accept it once it happens, once the rapture happens? Are they going to accept? Um, are they going to realize that we were right? Um you know, people, you know, and I was in a conversation with somebody yesterday who was telling me that I was in a cult and that there's no such thing as God, blah, blah, blah. There's no proof. And I simply just stated, how can you explain the prophecies of what's happening as we see at this very moment being foretold over 5,000 years ago? I could probably have gone further, but I just picked a 5,000 years ago. They couldn't answer. They couldn't answer it. And I said, there, you know, the Bible predicted what we are seeing right now in the Bible. How is it possible that the Bible, which is the holy word breathed, can predict what is happening right now over 5,000 years ago? How did they know? How did they know that it was 
going to happen unless somebody told them, right? And they couldn't answer it. And they actually, almost, I think they blocked me because they couldn't answer that question. And I think it stumped them. And, you know, the, the love of many has grown so cold. Um, people don't, their, their evil hearts are being exposed. Their evil intentions are being exposed. Even people in the Christian community. And that's why I tell a lot of people, don't ask people if they are a Christian. Ask them if they are born again. Because there's many people that believe that just because you're a good person, that means you're a Christian. Lots of people believe, oh, I believe in God, but they don't believe in his son, Jesus Christ. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that believe that they're going to heaven just because they were a good person. And, you know, just because you give something to the poor doesn't mean that you won your ticket to heaven. I mean, this is ridiculous. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep it short. I just need encouragement, guys. I'm, I'm having a hard time this, this week. I don't know if it's just what it is. Um, I don't know if the Lord is putting that on my heart and, you know, wanting me to long for him more. I don't know, but I do know that it's um, terrible. It's a horrible feeling to feel like, you know, how much longer are we going to be here? How much more are we going to see, you know? And um, so anyways, guys, I love you. I hope that you are all doing well. I will be back another time as, you know, time allows. Um, if we are still here and still carrying, um, I would be back and yeah, so I love you and I will talk to you later. Bye.